tonight's broadcast, David, here on WOW, Women of Wrestling, the big matchup made. Eight-person tag team match. I can't believe it, and I'm looking forward so much to the main event, David. What an explosive main event that's going to be. Nigel, I'm just getting my breath. I hope you got your insurance paid up, David. Trying to keep Vicki Lynn McCoy off of the beast. That was wrong of Lana Starr to come out there with the Fab Four and interrupt the first conversation we would have with the new Wild World Champion, The Beast. Well, David, we're kicking things off with a six-person tag team matchup, and there you see the Wild Trios Tournament Champions, top tier, Candy Crush, Coach Campanelli, and Gloria Glitter. Candy Crush is in trouble in the opening minutes of this match, Nigel. She sure is, David. Now is the tag to Holly Swag. And we've seen this before. It's the changing lanes. Big Rick Betty, Holly Swag, double team maneuver. Referee Ben Scheinberg says, good enough for a two, David. This matchup continues. Holly Swag, obviously the lighter and the faster, the two mother truckers in here. Ariel Sky becoming friends with him as they came out to protect her against what I'm gonna call these bullies top tier. It certainly is a great word for them, David. They're definitely bullies and have been bullying Ariel Sky for quite some time. David, you know she has to be excited to have her freedom back and no longer have to be the water girl. The whistle is blowing. Coach Campanelli blowing that whistle, maybe trying to remind Ariel Sky of the nightmare she was always having. And listening to that whistle being blown and her being bullied and having to be the water girl for top tier. That's right, you have to think that that's playing in the back of her mind, and we've yet to see Ariel Scott enter this matchup, but I can only imagine what she has planned for her opponents now, as top tier has Holly Swag in their corner, David, which is a spot Holly Swag does not need to be in. Exactly right, Nigel. Now Candy Crush giving that forearm, running forearm to Holly as she's down on the mat. Big Ring Betty trying to come in to help her daughter. Candy Crush choking her there, choking her with some type of ribbon or headband of top tiers or sachet or belt. Part of Gloria Glitter's costume, David, too. And Holly Swag kicks out at two, David. And she's lucky she did because Crush is on the move now, driving Holly Swag's head into the top turnbuckle, making a tag to Gloria Glitter. Gloria Glitter now in for her team top tier. Glitter. Knee to the midsection to Holly, now ahead to the top turnbuckle, trying to loosen her up, and maybe that forearm just did it. You can see the pain etched across the face of Holly Swag now, sent it to the corner, up and over. Gloria Glitter has to think quick on her feet for the ultra fast. Holly Swag using the ropes, trying to get the advantage here in the momentum, but Gloria Glitter taking that momentum away and now humiliating with the step up. That's right, Gloria Glitter with the stair stepper on the back of Holly Swag, adding insult to injury now. It's her signature, if you will, Nigel. That's right.
That's right, a patented maneuver that she is specialized in at the Gloria Glitter uh, School of Aerobics, David. That's right. Remember, I got the 50% discount there. Yeah, I'm getting I Nigel. <laughs> benefit Beverly Hills that you wanted me to because I saved that money. Maybe <laughs> next time, Nigel. The boots being laid on Holly by Coach Campanelli, the leader of the bulliest team in wrestling, top tier. And look at Coach, how she acts like she's doing nothing, David. All the while just continuing the beat down on the smallest member of her team, Holly Swag, one half of the WOW World Tag Team Champions. And what a way to kick off tonight's action, David, with this six-person tag. Coach Campanelli has Holly Swag and the Tree of Woe. She's upside down. She's not in a good position at all. Candy Crush having her way, tapping her on that stomach, kind of like Pink Billy when you're in summer camp. She's doing a little bag work, if you will. They had Holly Swag hung up like one of those boxing bags, and Candy Crush taking shots right in the midsection. Looks like Coach Campanelli trying to set up for the buzzer beater. Of course, that's ended many of her matches, but Holly Swag out of desperation with the headbutt to Coach Campanelli. Candy Crush! Oh, cut as Holly came down, the uppercut went right up, and then Gloria Glitter twisted and turned and Precision, if you will, by top tier. Here comes Big Rig Betty. Big Rig Betty trying to go under the rope smoothly, but she was caught by that bottom rope. Gloria Glitter has her. Now Crush hits her hands, and she went down hard on that mat. That was almost a three and a half foot drop. Maybe even further than that, David, and there's not much padding on the floor at all. If your back lands on that, you could be taken out of the match completely. It's just cement under that black pad, Nigel. There's no give. No, absolutely not, David. Now, Holly Swag, Big Rick Petty in a world of pain along with Ariel Sky, a top tier, celebrating in the ring as confident as ever. They're mighty proud of themselves and what they've done here in WOW. First ever trios champions, and if you don't believe them, all you have to do is ask, David. A lot of daddy now back in the ring. Top tier turns around just in time. They all gathered their, their momentum, and they all came in at the same time, Nigel, taking down all top tier. A triple fast press, David. I've never seen that before, Nigel. Ariel Sky with a beautiful clothesline. Swing shot.
carry her on. Of course, everyone remembers she was part of IQ Superior with Samantha Smart's team. And I don't know, Nigel, did she not like it or did they just boot her out with Samantha Smart put them all against each other? I think that she just got booted out because, David, if you remember, Samantha Smart was behind the disciplinarian and the classmaster attacking G.I. Jane after that matchup. In other words, Samantha Smart dismissed the drill sergeant. That's right, but she's not dismissed from serving our country. She's been serving our country in the Army Reserves for the last nine years. At Fort Jackson is where G.I. Jane spent her time. And now in the reserves, David, and here wrestling at WOW. Certainly proud to have her as part of our roster. I know it. When she is out there training in the Army, that is Difficult, difficult training. I would say it's only beat by the Navy SEALs. That's right, in the trenches, the grunt work if you have to, and that's what brings up that personality that G.I. Jane has. She's solid, she's confident in what she does, and she's been able to hold her head up despite the adversity from Samantha Smart, the class master, and of course the disciplinarian. You gotta have mental strength That's right, David. to do that. That's the biggest muscle you can have in this game. A lot of mental mind games in professional wrestling. And Fury with a side headlock takeover to G.I. Jane. I think you're right, Nigel, what you just said. You casually said it, but this game is harder on the mindset. It's almost like professional tennis. All those athletes know how to do a forearm, a serve, and a backhand. But when you look at the great tennis players of our time, including even hothead himself, John McEnroe, the mental strength that they had to become champions is what separates them from the herd, and that's what separates those in professional wrestling. You gotta have mental strength to really be a real star. That's right, David. Now a side headlock from Fury, who lives under the mantra of study the greats and become greater, being knocked down by G.I. Jane. That shoulder tackle coming all the way from Columbia, South Carolina, followed up by that patented big boot that we've seen G.I. Jane use so many times before. Fury rolling to the outside of the ring. To get a little comfort from her friend, Rebel Hayes. Smart maneuver. Of course, G.I. Jane, David, as I mentioned, from Columbia, South Carolina, also the hometown of the first ever African-American professional wrestler from South Carolina, Sweet Georgia Brown. I was talking to G.I. Jane in the back about that, and she certainly is proud to be from the Columbia, South Carolina area. I love that. I wish I could quickly recall the gentleman that runs the, the facility and venue down there. I think it's a, um, an AEG building, but we wanted to do a celebration for Sweet Georgia Brown. It didn't come off due to COVID, of course, but that was a great event we were planning. Maybe one day we'll get that accomplished. David, lots of big things on the horizon for WOW now as Fury tries to get back in control of this matchup, and that knee might have done the trick for Fury. No, just a two count, says Paige Principal. G.I. Jane in trouble now. Fury etching back on that knee and that chin, stretching the back, stretching the neck. She knows she has to wear down G.I. Jane. Take the wind out of the sails, so to speak. Try to take some of that power away from G.I. Jane. And G.I. Jane still fighting back out of this hole from Fury now. Jawbreaker from G.I. Jane. G.I. Jane goes for the neck and just throws Fury down on the mat. G.I. Jane winding up. Fury ducking, hard slap from Fury. Well, we've backhand, seen that, if you will. That, that backhand is connected several times for Fury. Flatliner by Fury. And now Fury with the submission hold on G.I. Jane. And now that mental strength, this is where it comes into play, David. That's right. G.I. Jane saying no, no, no to the referee page. And do you see what I'm seeing, David? G.I. Jane is getting up. She's leveraging her strength and was almost going to get a pin, forcing Fury to break that maneuver. That's right. She wasn't able to break the hold herself, but she was able to force Fury to let go. And that does the trick There's just as well. Power. You see it. Pure power and picking up Fury. Maggot drop is what she calls that, David, from G.I. Jane. Big boot to Fury. Sends the heavy metal sister crashing to the canvas. Too close, I think, to the ropes. There you go. Fury quickly knowing where she was, grabbing the ropes, causing a break. 
Great ring positioning, but G.I. Jane distracted by Rebel Hayes and his roll up quickly by Fury for the one, two, three. G.I. Jane put her attention on Rebel Hayes for just two seconds, but it cost her three. Introducing first from the Collins Kennel Club in Salem, Massachusetts, Goldie Collins and Katarina Jinks. Together, they are Animal Instinct! Animal Instinct, baby! Cat lovers and dog lovers! The fans may not like these two, but yeah, everybody loves a cat or a dog, guys. That's right, and nobody loves their dog more than Golden Collins, proud of Alexander. Little Alexander, and I know you shared special bonds with the cat, Little Oliver. <laughs> That's right, Little Oliver. And back home, a well, little Boo Boo doesn't like me too much, but we won't get into that. <laughs> the cats just don't seem to like me. I'll stay away from Katarina Jinx. But nonetheless, Animal Instinct, Two of the newest WoW superheroes have really been making quite an impressive showing here in WoW. Last time we saw Goldie Collins, she picked up a big win against Pep Riley. And their opponents from Los Angeles and San Bernardino, California, Sugar and Spice, the Mighty Mice! The Mighty Mice! Sugar and Spice, and I ask you, we go. How come no one ever says Spice and Sugar? And I called up a few friends and asked them why, and they said, David, why do you ask such dumb questions? <laughs> I was just going to blame it on Warren Huntley. <laughs> She's the one that brings them out. But nonetheless, sugar and spice, here to bring a little flavor to your life. And they certainly bring lots of flavor to the WOW locker room, David. They certainly do. And indeed, they're becoming crowd favorites here at Women of Wrestling. Spice and sugar, sugar and spice, whichever order you want to call them, the Mighty Mites. Your official in this matchup is going to be Julio Rodriguez. Julio signals for the bell and we're underway. And Little Spice kicking things off against the gold standard, Goldie Collins, a blue ribbon winner, won many awards with her dog Alexander, and seems to think that she's the best in show here in WOW Women of Wrestling. Quite an interesting dynamic between Goldie Collins, who uses the hair of Spice to take her down to the canvas. Spice twisting that arm. Goldie able to get out of that. But she fell. She and fell. Spice didn't take advantage of it. Spice hitting the ropes, driving that entire body into it. That's right, Spice with the cover. And Katarina Jinx tries to interfere, but actually buries her own elbow into her partner's midsection, David. Or at least right into the chest of Goldie Collins. Collins crawling to the corner of Sugar and Spice. Doesn't know where she's at, David. Well, Katarina just got caught by Spice. And fans, we usually see Spice and Sugar out here with someone like Steffi Slays and their other friend, Keith Rush. But tonight, they're on their own, and they're doing quite well. The Mighty Mites with the do -si do and the jalapeno poppers. That's right, David. You did catch up with the Mighty Mites and Steffi Slays just a couple of weeks ago. I enjoyed it. I think of Stephanie Slades, I love the fact she came in and was able to help little Jay Boogie from that beat down, that BK rhythm, and Gigi Gianni were giving her because they were bullying little Jay Boogie. They sure were, David, and a very close count, says referee Julio Rodriguez, little spice in there with Goldie Collins. Shot to the midsection, big boot from Goldie Collins sending spice into the ropes. Collins now with the face buster. The head right into the knee, if you will. And now, Katarina Jinx coming in there, going right to the back. It's the one, two, three formula. Well, they call it the call of the wild. The face buster into that neck breaker from Katarina Jinx. And right now, Spice in a world of trouble. 
Spice and Sugar share such a great connection with each other. We've talked about it before, both training at different places, but coming together at Jesse Hernandez School. Both of these women are encouraged by their scholastic endeavors as well. As we mentioned, the first Guatemalan Sugar to walk away top of the class is Goldie Collins. Continues to pull away at the hair of Spice. And David, I saw Spice earlier this week I sure did. She was studying for her final. She's going for two bachelors at the University of San Diego. It's very impressive and inspiring what she's doing. But speaking of accolades, here comes Goldie Collins. Big scoop and seems very confident as she has Spice upside down and a huge body slam from the gold standard, the alpha Goldie Collins. Sugar wanted to get in there. So far, Sugar hasn't been in except when running in to help Spice, I would say potentially illegally. And Spice is in trouble and she's in the wrong corner. Well, David, we've seen the team of Animal Instinct take the mother truckers to their limit. They've gotten two World Tag Team title shots before and it seems like each match, both Katarina Jinx and Goldie Collins get more confident but also more nasty with their in-ring style. No doubt about it, Nigel, as you see the cat, Katarina Jinx, licking her paws, if you will, and then raking her claws, if you will, the nails across the back of Spice. David, for an unlikely duo, Katarina Jinx and Goldie Collins are surely quickly making their mark here in WOW. Spice coming back. Spice showing Katarina Jinx the Here's big the things tag. come in small packages. Here's the tag for Sugar. Sugar in for the Mighty Mites. Chop across the chest. Another one. Two of them across Katarina. Up high she goes. And then taking both hands together and hitting Katarina in the chest, taking her off her feet. Flying double axe handle from Sugar and now a knee to the midsection of Katarina Jinx. And Sugar knocks Goldie Collins off of the ring. Springboard into a pinfall attempt. She rolls over with the submission. Wow, I've never seen a pinfall like that. Lindsay in the ring fighting one of the Tonga twins. 
Kona now face to face with Luscious Lindsay as she throws a chop and one back from the Tonga twin, Kona herself. What an exciting main event we have on our hands here tonight, David. And I gotta mention, David, this is the first time that we've seen Vicky Lynn McCoy in a matchup ever since the Beast took her out. 100% right, Nigel. Well, obviously, she's finally healed. Oh, my, you see that big blow? And Luscious Lindsay sent down. Lovely Lori charges with the clothesline. And, David, we can't forget the history of Sweet Heat and the Tonga Twins. That was chaos in the ring with Lovely Lori. And she just jammed Lovely Lori into the turnbuckles. Lovely Lori down. And before the Tonga Twin, chaos could give her the rear end to the face. Lori ducks out of the way. Chaos flipped over in the middle of the ring. Lori going for an immediate bend. They want to make fast work of tonight's main event. Chaos went for the hip attack. Lovely Lori moved out the way, and that gave her an opening. But Chaos back in the action now. Big headbutt. The headbutt connects, and now tag in to Penelope Pink from Lovely Lori, the former WOW World Champion, getting in the ring with Chaos, who decides to tag in Tiki Jamara. Tiki in now, giving it to Penelope. And Lindsay Carlson on the outside. Oh, what a beautiful drop kick by Tiki Jamara. She got air on that. Now she's been cut off by Penelope Pink. Lindsay Carlson has been on the outside, holding her left side of her neck, Nigel. I don't know if you noticed that. I believe one half of the Carlson twins, Miami Sweet Heat, is not 100% right now. But it doesn't matter. Penelope Pink certainly is, as she goes right over and makes a statement to the world champion, the Beast. Cartwheel elbow drop. She again pushes the Beast off the side of the ring apron, David. But we've heard Penelope Pink in recent weeks say she should be the one that gets the next WOW World Championship match. She says she's the best damn thing in WOW, David. There may be no question about it outside of the fact that the Beast is the world champion. Penelope Pink is a technician in the ring, and she just caught air with Tiki Chamorro's foot right into her mouth. The Carlsons come in and break that up. The Beast on the outside, the Tonga Twins coming in right now. The fans were shouting for the Beast, the Beast. Oh, my! Both twins outside of the ring, tossed through the center of the road. Miami Sweets inside, and they fly outside, and they go into the steel barricades. Holy smokes, Nigel! It's flying bodies everywhere! Everywhere, David! Oh, no! Lori has been set up and dropped right on top of the steel barricade! This standing capacity crowd is going wild as Vicky Lynn takes over on the piece! And love the ring, David! Vicky Lynn nails the German oh. suit!